move hits harder. That's just if how you it believe works. hard enough in your button, they always work. And I don't look. Seventeen's gonna have to believe real hard because they are in for a trip. This is one of the most difficult matchups uh, for this character to fight. But Seventeen has looked great all day. They made it to winner's side uh, and lost in winner's finals. Currently chilling here at Lucifer Finals, waiting for Webb to get to here. Webb's currently very warmed up after all of these matches they played. The 17th had to wait a little bit, so it's beyond them to adjust to the pattern that Webb has. What's uh, what's Webb's record looking like? Hang on, I'm pulling, I'm pulling this up because he's made a deep losers run as he takes out, not quite takes out. Uh, Webb's currently 12 and one. I just like to point that out. He's he's Jesus. played he's played 13 sets on the night. This is his 14th. In order to win the bracket, he has to take 16 sets. Yeah, yeah we're all smashers. It's really just about the masters we met along the way. Um, so, <laughs> here, <laughs> real, so here, so here, the real treasure was the mash all along. Yeah, the real treasure is the masters we met along the way. <laughs> In any case, though, Web has been off to a great start so far. Already knocking down that first stock from 17, and now having fully lapped them in for sense. They do make it back to stage. They do pull out that neutral beat to get back on. They try to get those nares going, but yeah, like we said, they just can't get these phantoms set up. It's just not possible. Because the exactly. SS is so fast. They have that movement option of the downbeat. It doesn't let them have the chance to set up those traps that we all know they want. And the biggest thing here too is look at every, I think 17 has to question every time they just decide maybe to move because there's an impending Zare. There is a potential pressured option like jump forward it. it keeps them grounded and that makes it so zelda has to do pretty much only one of two things they have to act out a shield or they have to go on the move and they're gonna lose to zss consistently on that it's basically just i'm getting harder punishes but zare to zare to bear. oh yeah that's a that at certain windows that's a consistent kill confirm and you I, have I'm to watch out for that it's been forever since i've seen that i don't see anyone going for double zare on wi-fi it's just so hard to hit I gotta, give so much credit to, I gotta give so much credit to Webb for knocking that out of the park. Cause, but oh my god, this is looking so brutal for 17 here, Ajax. It's mostly because we pretty much only see Webb with the CSS lately. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's such a good option. Oh my goodness, he's gonna call it the jump. Yeah, he's looking for you. And he even pressured with the grab. Uh, luckily didn't get caught by that boost kick, but this is looking tremendously awful. I like the attempt. I love the ledge traps that Zelda's can do when they're able to succeed with them. It covers so much, and there it is right there. He caught him. Uh, he tried to attempt to catch him low before, so what did he do that time? Forced him to a position where he had to wait a second because of the last attempt, and he caught by, got caught by Phantom. Yeah, I do I do like the effort from 17. Like, I, I am, I'm a huge supporter of, like, don't give up. Like I said last game, don't give up until the, the announcer says game. But, like, there's, there's so much distance to make up, and 17 needs to be maybe, and I know it's kind of counterintuitive to how Zelda played, Maybe it needs to be a little bit more aggressive with how they're placing these phantoms. Like they're they're trying to kind of trying to wait for Webb to come to them. Which sure is great in a lot of situations, but not when you're down two stocks to one and lapped by 60%. I think a majority of what I want to see out of 17, it, well, that was good catching that jump in. But a bit more run-up shield, using things like dash attack, using things like approaching down tilt, uh, like no, we just dead. saw a second ago. That's game one going to Webb, but. He pretty much, like, 17, they, they pretty much stayed in a position where ZSS has no team. You can't do that. You have to you have to find a way to slowly approach as hard as it is, but you have to do it. You have to run up shield, use things like down tilt, use things like dash attack as a way to make it so Web doesn't feel so comfortable just getting off the ground for free and pressuring you from that distance. That way, when Web is more afraid of that potential approach, you have a second to actually use your phantoms because web is now waiting for you to dash attack he's waiting for you to run up shield so it it's you, you have to you have to be able to mix it up and they, right, did. And they despite, just they, they stayed in place despite in this matchup like we were talking about earlier zss having better frame data by about six or seven miles oh yeah it is sure. a situation where you are going to have to bait out those moves because because just because the frame data is great doesn't mean the end lag is too so in some of these situations it is going to be about baiting something out of Webb, because in this matchup, Webb is fully aware of the fact that he is capable of just holding forward. Yep. And he's probably going to, because he doesn't need to do anything else. So, Webb just continuously holds forward and continuously wins neutrals. 17 needs to figure out how to bait out one of those big commitments, like one of those up smashes onto the ledge, and then punish it. Because Webb has been a big fan of doing those up smashes onto the ledge while 17 mm -hmm. positions himself there. So, Figure out when that timing is and 
punch him in the face for it, you know? Yeah, honestly, just like it, it, it's better to go out. It's better to swing and make someone be afraid of potentially being on defense than not. Because what's the win con you have as Zelda? You need to you Zelda's want to play when a character's about maybe a, like a character length or two away. That way they can set up. And when you approach them on shield, they play out of shield. CSS beats you in both regards. So what do you need to do? You need to play a little bit more aggressive than normal because you need to make them respect those options. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to do anything about it. And that is all still just easier said than done because CSS does it all better. But if you can still just find the gap, if you can find how Webb behaves, you can understand when he wants to jump in those situations or when he wants to move, then you will find your opening. Yeah, but it's it's the two of us here in our imaginary commentator booth it's a lot easier said than done it's still oh, like sure. it's still an awful matchup 17 has their work cut out for them they even want to make this look doable let alone actually take it it's all about punishment. they're off it's to a much about... they're they're off to a much better start than they were last game that's straight up sure that's enough. that's like I said, a majority of it's just, it's about that punish game. Like, if you can find your, if you can just capitalize on the small openings you get, you'll be okay. You just need to be able to take advantage of them when you can. Oh, speaking of which, oh, that was a good call on the okay. jump. Good DI as well from Wet, though. Recognize that. And immediately calling that out. That was not a position where you could be comfortable to throw out that phantom and unfortunately got caught. We talked about trying to set up traps. We talked about trying to bait Web out. But sometimes ZSS do what ZSS do. And they, Web just managed to get a nice and easy down, uh, down B that flip kick just going to kill. Uh, and it's a bad situation for 17, right? Because now Web's in a position where they can just keep on living. Because defensive ZSS, probably unkillable for Zelda, unless Web makes a mistake. Yeah, defensive DSS is so hard to fight. Oh, good job catching him at the ledge there, though. Like and I said, taking mistake. no percent on that side. Web air dodging in, gets caught by that down smash. Or not down yep. smash, that, that side B. I don't know where I got down smash from. Yeah, that was very well timed, too. That was if literally a couple frames off from missing. And, like, I, I, I do like the way that 17 is playing a bit here. Like, Web is still holding this lead relatively comfortably. But you can see that 17 is willing to push the initiative a bit more. 17 is willing to kind of go up. Granted, that is not it. Consistently using neutral B out of disadvantage has been getting kind of just stared at by no. Webb over and over, and that set up a perfect ledge trap eventually for Webb. That's so unfortunate. That's like 17 was just now starting to, to make this look doable, starting to bring it back, starting to like, you know, prove all the doubters in chat wrong. And then they get nared bear or nared down beat, and it's just it's all over basically. Like Web has almost fully locked them in percents. And like we said, once once Web gets the lead, let alone ZSS, it's so hard to wrench that away. Yeah, you literally literally get turned into a situation where you just have to play only punish game. Like it, it's it's been proven by Web that he's consistently been able to play around any of the run up baits that I was trying to talk about before in any of the setups. So what you gotta do? You just gotta capitalize on his mistakes. You gotta play you have to be willing to play the clock a bit and wait for web to like approach because he is doing it with a lead a lot more than i expect if web starts to camp then that's where things he's, get he's just rough. that confident honestly like web does he knows he doesn't need to camp he knows he can win in neutral anyway and so like he's not gonna he's not gonna prolong this because hey camping does take some mental fortitude oh for sure um it like it's not like it's just you know i'm going to i'm going to stay away and i'm going to win the game I like uh, it's it's instead like it's it's definitely a draining experience to camp your opponent for seven minutes straight so like if web is confident that he can win in neutral if web is confident that he can take the game by you know just holding w he's absolutely going to. oh that back is finally gonna take it i do like the fact that basically web is playing with that mentality of you have to earn my respect if you if if you play against somebody and they don't give you a reason to fear them then continue to do what you're doing because they have if it ain't broke don't fix it so here it's been working in spades he's got a whole game up he's got a good position here i do significantly like 17 changes but 17 is getting caught on the defensive oh, habits no. on the way inside b won't do it just yet battlefield assistance a bit there but that one bit questionable up b directly above him he's gonna put him in a bad spot for boost kick and even there uh we saw it way way back in losers eight uh with uh with web jp versus your boy l man uh that that was a di mix-up we saw WebJP mm -hmm. actually reverse that uppy, you know, change the uh, change the input direction. And so even if even if 17 was like, oh, I messed up here. I did not mean to uppy back onto top platform and then tried to start DIing the boost kick, expecting to be sent towards right side blast zone. Mm -hmm. Instead, WebJP reversed that, mixed up the DI and practically guaranteed that 17 was dying to that. 
yeah, it screws you up a bit, especially in a situation where you're kind of scared. It's like, oh crap, I accidentally went above and you're preemptively trying to behave in one way and then you get caught in the other way. And this just, this match so far, it, yeah, it, <laughs> people are saying in the chat this, we, we, were, we were talking about it beforehand, the struggles that this character does have against ESS and Webb is just showing it. Webb is consistently proven again and again, basically what ZSS does to people who need time to set up. Especially against Zelda, where they don't necessarily have the best out of shield options compared to many other characters, especially ESS. And now in this situation, it's it's you know do or die. It's it's tournament uh, tournament or sorry tournament point for seventeen. He needs to needs to figure something out in this as Chad has been calling it nearly unwinnable matchup. But Webb just looking so strong. Oh. Up, up air after up air, looking to close it all out with that up B there, but it doesn't quite finish it. He lives to see another day. But I don't know how long the dawn is going to last before the dusk. I, or, honestly, sorry, the dusk before the dawn is what I meant to say. I reversed I actually, it. No, no, it's all good. You, you live, you live. I, I actually like this stage because before it was, it was pretty obvious that the triplets and everything weren't going to work. But on this smaller stage with just one platform to work with, it makes it a bit easier for 17 to catch web what? on a bad option. Like, you, you, need, you need basically to make the room smaller. You need to make it so web is more likely to approach and you just happen to catch the punish because that's all you got going for you right now you need you need to capitalize on mistakes from web because web isn't giving you anything else but the problem is that web isn't making many mistakes either the biggest oh, thing that we've been seeing is is just him absolutely dominating the neutral and the few mistakes that he does make are honestly just being covered oh no i'm so sorry 17. Yeah, and the few mistakes that Web does make are just covered up by the fact that ZSS is a better character than Zelda, straight up. True enough, it's just that it, it's one of those mindsets you gotta put yourself in that even if somebody's playing near perfect, they're not perfect. You, you, at, at the end of the day, everybody will make a mistake. So on the smaller stage here, you look for more likely uh, mistakes. However, getting a bit risky now with some of these up Bs more consistently in uh, consistently attacking at a disadvantage. Yeah, it's worked a few times, but you got to be careful because Webb is now waiting for that swing and he's going to punish it accordingly. Also getting ripped out of that startup of that up B. Just so oddly unfortunate, but speaking of oddly unfortunate, down smash into up B going to absolutely eviscerate that stock. And now Webb has not only put him on tournament point, but tournament stock. 17 has to, we keep saying it has to figure something out, but I don't know how much more figuring there is here. 46, 57, 50, continuously counting upwards towards their death. Now at 69, looking for the down smash. Web JP is only a couple of hits away from closing this out. Yeah, he that's absolutely a jump knows too. it. Yeah, there he goes. He's got he's jump dead. to force them low, even with the up beat, he's gonna, oh, he doesn't cover him at the ledge, but this is pretty much the point in the match. Oh, the up beat actually gets the reversal. I, uh, look, I, I'm, I'm already pretty much calling in the crew. Get the music ready, get it playing. They're carrying the casket on the way out. This is pretty much done for Web. Bonk, but bonk. I do love watching. <laughs> yes. I love watching comebacks. I love seeing people make adjustments and, and like make a run back. This is pretty much undoable though, because yeah, you're gonna get attack at disadvantage one more time. He just consistently kept waiting for it. That factor is gonna close it. The JV three stock, man. Web JP moving on to grand finals to face off against Sharp, who is been waiting a long time now that i think about it sharp uh i hope you've been staying warm buddy because web has been on a tear i will say this though as good as web has been playing all day and i am very much looking forward to the set because web is playing so good sharp outside of when he's decided to switch to other characters has pretty much looked unbeatable with that joker so far today and i am web has to play out of his mind even as good as web played in all of these matches Sharp has been on a different level today, and I am very curious to see how Webb approaches it. I think Webb might actually start it off with a very safe mindset, because if he goes guns blazing, he's going to play right into Sharp's hands, who, like you said, has been waiting a bit, and he's going to be ready to just swing. And before we get started with Grand Finals... Not, I, I do want to say one thing, Ajax. I've seen people ah. in chat talking about it. Yeah, this is live. We're here. I, I oh, yeah, see you talking in chat. We're, we're, we're chilling. We've been talking, we've been talking to you all night. What yeah, you mean? How do you, how do you think this is a rerun? We...